If you're really addicted to your social media or you can't stop playing your favourite game, combine bedtime mode with downtime in iOS 12. Bedtime is a new setting in iOS 12 that's part of Do Not Disturb. And when you set a Do Not Disturb schedule and you turn bedtime on, then all your notifications and alerts will not be displayed. Do Not Disturb on its own will stop all the sounds of emails and alerts and notifications, but it will still display those notifications if you've enabled that. With bedtime mode, when I try to open the iPad, it gives me that message. However, I can still gain access to my iPad just by swiping to the right and the Today view appears. I can determine what widgets I put in the Today view and I could lock it down even more. That sort of defeats its usefulness. But the Siri app suggestions are the problem here. If I decide I just want to have a look in my settings, then all I have to do is either use my passcode or touch ID to open settings. And once I've done that, and tap the home button. Now I've opened the iPad up completely. It's not truly a do not disturb mode because you can get around it. However, you can also combine bedtime with downtime and then disable all apps. If you like, you can always allow some apps through. But the point is, this is a, a nighttime schedule. I don't want to be disturbed throughout the night and I don't want to give myself any opportunities to be able to unlock the iPad and start checking Facebook and looking at anything else. So if you really want to give yourself almost peace and quiet during the night, you can combine downtime with bedtime. So first thing is to go into the settings and into Do Not Disturb and create a schedule and turn on Do Not Disturb and turn on bedtime. Bedtime will not work unless you have a schedule. And so I'm, uh, for the purpose of this video, I've set it at 11.25 because I'm recording it at about that time. So do not disturb in, and bedtime is on. So when I try to open my iPad, I get that message. Now I also need to disable the Today View from the lock screen. From the home screen, I can just swipe to the right and I can see it. Uh, if I'm on the lock screen, the lock screen when the where I get the Do Not Disturb message, I can swipe and I can get the Today View. So go into the settings, touch ID and passcode, authenticate yourself, and go down to allow access when locked and disable Today View. You can press the home button to get out of that. When I'm on the lock screen now, I've got my Do Not Disturb mode and I'm swiping to the right and I'm not seeing anything. However, I can still bypass bedtime mode and Do Not Disturb just by opening up my iPad and that's a temptation. So we need downtime so that if I do that, I haven't any apps to play with because I've disabled them all. So to go into settings and into screen time and downtime and turn downtime on. And downtime needs to have the same schedule as do not disturb. So you've turned it on, go back and go to always allowed. Always allowed means that when you have downtime enabled that any apps that you allow into the allowed app section will get through, will be bypassed. So at this stage there's messages, FaceTime and maps. And if I tap the red dot I can remove maps. So you can choose from your apps and all these are the apps that are enabled on my iPad. Any apps that you feel you really must have access to during this time. For the purpose of a peaceful night's sleep, I don't want any of these apps to be available. I don't want to be able to be tempted. Now I might I'm not going to I'm not going to delete everything. I'm going to let the phone app still be there and the same with messages. If I try and delete it, I I can, but I get a warning message that I'm not going to be able to receive any messages including from emergency contacts or something that's really important. So that I should leave there. But I don't need to put anything else in. So I don't need to put my games in or the app store or anything that's going to get me using my iPad when I should be resting. So I'm going to leave them at just that. Tap the arrow and it should now be working because Do Not Disturb and Bedtime are currently working. So when I go to the iPad now, you can see all these apps that are greyed out. Now there's still a couple that are visible there like Safari on the dock. If I go into the folders, they're all grayed out they can't be used and you can see the little timer there next to each of them telling you that 
they are not available at the moment until that time runs out. And even though Safari is not grayed out, it's still not usable because I can go and open it and it still gives me that time limit message. You can't use it at the moment. Go back into the lock screen. I now get two messages, the do not disturb bedtime message and another message that screen time is limited until 7 a.m. When I swipe to the right, I can't get the today view. So effectively, I have got peace and quiet because it's going to take some effort on my part to undo all that. I can swipe to the left and I can get the camera, but the camera's part of downtime, so I do not have access to it unless I ignore limit. If I want any other apps, I have to consciously tap the home button and use Touch ID to log myself in. And when I do that, I get all the downtime disabled apps. If I want to override all that, then any app I tap, so if I want to actually look at Safari, I can tap Safari and then I'll, I can tap ignore limit and ignore it for today, remind me in 15 minutes or cancel. So you can get around it, but the purpose is to give yourself a more thorough do not disturb experience. When you're waking up in the middle of the night, you can see the time, you can see the date, but that's it. So in this video, I showed you how you can combine downtime with bedtime mode to get a greater do not disturb experience in iOS 12 on the iPad.